Welcome, welcome, welcome. There is Jill and Sheila. Happy Easter. Happy e uh, Easter, everyone. Um, how is everyone today? Are you enjoying your Easter Sunday? Well, we are here, and I have on my Easter bonnet today. I am sporting my Easter bonnet. I thought, what the heck? I will put on my Easter outfit, even though no one gets to see it except you guys. So, oh, thank you. Um, so I am here. We are going to do two things today. We are going to do um, a quick a cocktail, which, and we're going to do a quick appetizer. So I'm going to start real quick here and put our appetizer in the oven here in the microwave. Yes, you guys like my Easter bonnet. I thought you guys might like, like it. Um, so I'm going to start with one of our favorite things, which is easy and quick, especially when you're having company and you've been cooking and making a big um, meal or just for a quick snack. What's everyone's America's favorite snack? Popcorn is the very best. And I am just a popcorn fanatic. Um, when I was pregnant with Rex, I would go to the movie theater and just go in to get popcorn and come out. And they're like, you don't want to see a movie? I'm like, nope, I just want the popcorn. But I have been trying to figure out a way um, to make the best popcorn, like movie popcorn. It's so fluffy. And believe me, I have exhausted the options. I have done it in oil and air pop and popcorn machines. And I mean, you name it, I have tried it. Uh, I have all the gizmos and gadgets to prove that I have tried it. And I have recently just found the best way to make popcorn ever in my life. So we are going to make some real quick while it is popping before we dress it up. Um, so this is my new secret. Instagram. Facebook can, can see. Okay, I found this. It's a silicone collapsible popcorn maker and it is my new secret weapon. So it, I found this on the clearance rack at the grocery store and I just bought it kind of as a joke and it is the best thing I've ever bought. So this is my secret for popcorn. So I um, have my popcorn. Oh, by the way, and popcorn too. I've tried er every kind. I have tried every kind, brand, off brand, on brand, this kind, that kind, gourmet, mail order, every kind to try and find something that pops real fluffy. So if you guys know of some popcorn kind that I can't find, please tell me who has the secret to the fluffy popcorn. So what I'm using at the moment that I did buy online, this is an organic popcorn that I just came in, I don't know, I was just looking online again trying to find good popcorn and this is what I have right now. So I have figured out the ratio for my new machine and it is a quarter cup of popcorn that I'm gonna put in my little gizmo here. And then you put the silicone lid on top of there, no oil, boom, that's it. And my assistant is gonna stick that in the microwave for me. So while that is going, we will get started on the Easter cocktail. But first, I think my, um, Come over here and say happy e uh, Easter, Mr. Handsome. We got all dressed up like we do for Easter, even though nobody gets to see us. Happy, happy Easter, Easter happy everyone. Easter. This is a uh, decade-long quest for popcorn. Yes. So I thought, well, shoot, let's make something, you know, quick and fun for Easter. And I'm going to show you guys my Easter table, because since nobody gets to see it this year, somebody has to see it, and it's going to be you guys. So here we are, we're wishing you all the best and happy Easter, because he's going to be behind the camera here in a minute. So nice to see uh, everyone. And look, he has on my favorite tie, my favorite color, and it happens to go with my Easter bonnet. <laughs> so anyway, we are, um, I'm going to get moving on here with our cocktail. So I thought it's always fun when you're having a party. Oh, shoot, you guys all missed you, all the people that are joining. Joining now, we'll have to go back and watch the replay because Gary was on here a second ago. So um, I'm going to start with a cocktail. So I've taken a pretty glass because it's a holiday and I'm going to make a special drink. Um, I've got my glass all chilled so I'm going to dump that out because it's ready to go. And oh, you hear our popcorn? Can you guys hear it popping? And in my shaker, um, I'm going to put, oh, forgot one of my main ingredients. Hold on. You guys like my Easter bonnet. I love it. Hold on a second. Forgot something. Okay. Oh, 
Hold on, I'm coming. I forgot. My fresh mint! Duh! It's all clean and washed, but I forgot to get it out and chop it, so here we go. If it was official, and I was officially a bartender, we would have this mint muddled, but I don't have anything to muddle it with. So I have found a gizmo and a gadget that I don't have, and it is a muddler for a cocktail. So you can see how often I make cocktails like this because I don't have a muddler. But this is a yummy one, so I'm just going to take my mint here. I'm going to put it in my shaker, but I'm going to chop it a little bit because I didn't muddle it. Is there an alternative to a muddler? I don't think there is. I mean, the alternative to the muddler is I'm going to chop it up a little bit to release our mint flavor here and drop it in the shaker. So in the shaker goes a little bit of fresh mint. Muddle, of course, if you're fancier than me. And then we're going to put in a little vodka. Instagram, we're using Grey Goose. Can Instagram, you see my glass? You see there's my shaker. There's the glass. Okay, here we go. And just to make it easy here for um, demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do use a quarter cup. It'd be cooler if I had a really cool um, uh, shot glass or something, but hey, I'm just trying to make the ratio work out. So we're just going to go with that. And hey, Benny, how are you? We're making an appetizer and we're going to make a little cocktail here for celebrating. And then I'm going to show you my Easter table because nobody gets to see it this year and it's so cute. So to that, I'm going to add a quarter cup, a large quarter cup of cranberry juice, of course, Ocean Spray. They're not sponsoring today. But we've got Ocean Spray going on there. And then I have pineapple juice, little pineapple juice. And these little cans are awesome because sometimes you just want a little bit of pineapple juice. So I'm going to do the same thing, same amount, quarter cup of pineapple juice. And then I've got some fresh lime that I already squeezed. Fresh lime is going in. Whoop! I hope it's, did that go in? Hope so. And then I'm going to take my top, make sure your top's on especially when you have on your Easter bonnet, make sure your top's on. Stick my top in there, and we're going to give this a vigorous shake. Space in there. There we go. Shake, shake, shake. Can you shake, twirl shake, it shake. around? I don't know. I can't do the cocktail. <laughs> that Tom Cruise mo movie when you flip it around? Yeah, that's not me. Can any of you guys do the cocktail flip around shaker thing? <laughs> so yummy. So we've got that all shaken up, shooken up. Hey Nancy, Kelly, thanks for watching. Susie, how are you? And Betty, love you. Betty, happy Easter to you. And I'm going to take this lid out a little bit because I think my chopped mint might slow down my pour here. But here we go. We are going to go whoo, dump out our little cocktail. And there you go. Of course, if you're going to make a cocktail on your live, it better be pink, right? It should be pink. So let's give that a taste. Ooh, that's good. That's good. The pineapple juice just adds a, a flavor that you don't normally have, so it's yummy. Let me wear a dish towel here. Let me get a towel here. Hold on. Dry off my hands. And I'm having... I don't know why this is... I don't know, I've got it going there. My Facebook comments stopped scrolling, so I can't talk to you guys, but I would if they were scrolling. So back to the popcorn. So look at how perfect this comes out. It comes out totally nice and fluffy, and for some reason it doesn't taste as dry or as weird as sometimes the air popper popcorn can taste. So it just, it's good. So to your popcorn, how do you like your popcorn? I like mine, here's just some butter, Instagram butter, that is melted. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on here, and then I like it. I got out some things for options. These are just the things I had in my cabinet, so these are my options here. I had garlic salt, I have regular salt, the Everything Bagel Seasoning from Trader Joe's. This is Rex's favorite, the ranch. It's like seasoning shaker stuff but it can go on popcorn. And then a dear friend, my neighbor, made this amazing, have you guys tried rosemary salt? 
Oh my gosh, it is so good. It is salt and fresh rosemary, and it is delish. So I'm gonna put a pinch of that on here and flavor it with a little bit of rosemary. And another thing that is actually my favorite is some grated Parmesan cheese on top. So I like a little bit of Parmesan cheese to spruce it up because it's salty and just has a little bit of cheese. It usually sinks to the bottom, but I just love that it has that Parmesan cheese taste. So there is our celebratory cocktail and a little quick appetizer, everyone's favorite, the popcorn. And now I'm going to get my cameraman ready and we're going to come and I'm going to show you my Easter table. So we are going to be on the move here in just a second. You ready? Ready. Okay. Here we go. Follow me and I will show you my Easter table because it's so pretty. Let's see, you coming, gang? Here we go. So I'm gonna start here. And I'm gonna show you in the champagne bucket this year to commemorate COVID-19 Easter 2020. What's in the champagne bu bucket this year? Do, 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 do. It's the Clorox wipes because that's what goes in the champagne bucket this year. So I'll come over here a little bit so you guys can see. And we have the table, of course, set for more people than are going to be here this year because we can't have any people here. But I thought, well, shoot, I still want to set the table and have it be, pr be pretty. You see, the centerpiece we have here is the Easter pie that we made yesterday. So it's ready for consumption. I can't wait. It looks and smells so good. So there's the Easter pie. And then I have the table set today with one of my favorite china things I have. And look at these. They are my Fabergé egg plates. And they're all different colors. So everyone gets their own color here at their place. And then for Easter de decor, I added these really cute little um, scripture cards. or scriptures on all these cards. And this one happens to say, Be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead. So on that note, let's hang on to that. And I want to wish you all a very happy Easter and hope you are having a wonderful time, even though you're at home with your families, that it's not your extended family this year. So we wish you all the best and hope you have a wonderful Easter and we will see you here. Oh, we didn't do our birthday shout outs. Oh, how about, a, two, how about your giveaway? We got two birthday shout outs and a giveaway. I got so excited about my table, I forgot my shout outs and my giveaway. So I'm going to have to go grab my name. So let's go back. We're going to head back, sorry, to the kitchen because I forgot my giveaway. So follow me back. And today's giveaway for our people, everyone that has liked or um, commented on these cooking videos. Your name is in my bucket here. Here you go. And today I'm going to be give, giving away these stainless steel little cup holders, uh, glass drink, glass drink, easy for me to say, stainless steel cups with lids. So you can have hot or cold be uh, beverages in these, but that's our giveaway for, to, 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 for today. So I will get in here and draw these. So let's see who our lucky two are today. Let me put that back in the mount if you want. Uh, Julie Fortnati, Julie Fortnati, you are my lucky winner for today. And let's see who else we've got in here that is our lucky winner. And that would be, I should have picked a paper that didn't all stick together. And Stephanie, you're my winner, trainer from Orange Theory. Stephanie and Julie Fortnati, you are my winners today. So congratulations on Easter Sunday. And then we have two birthday shout outs, two Marys. So hold on, I gotta switch hats here from my Easter bonnet. Hold on, get that down. To my birthday shout out hat, birthday shout outs to Mary and Mary. So Mary Fackler, birthday shout out to you, dear, dear friend. And then it is our CEO Berkshire Hathaway's birthday today. Mary Lee Blaylock, happy birthday to you. 
So hope you're having a wonderful Easter and we wish you all the best and happy, happy. And we will see you here every day in April at three o'clock with the recipe of the day. We look forward to seeing you. Thanks for watching.